Hello, this is Travis White with New Blue, and I'm here to show you how to make a lower third with New Blue Titler Pro inside Avid Media Composer. Now, first thing you want to do is go up to the Effects Palette and go ahead and drag an instance of Titler Pro down onto either a clip or onto a slice of your timeline, either way. So we have Enter Text, this is the default text. Let's go ahead and go into the Effect Editor and launch the user interface of New Blue Titler Pro. Now this happy girl here, uh, one of the players from the UK. Let's go ahead and start typing text into here. So let's say, let's say Rachel Player, and she's from Bristol, UK. How's that? So uh, one thing we want to do is go ahead and change the font. So let's change this to Euro style. And let's go ahead and change some of the parameters of this. Now, we can change the look. So let's go to the style. And right now, it's just a white face. And let's, let's, in fact, let's dial that white down just a little bit. And we want to have a little bit of a pop because she has a white jersey on. We don't want to lose that. So let's do something to the style, very basic. Before we do that, I could just show you briefly that we could go into our library and simply hover over a number of styles and get a lot of different looks happening here. But what we want to do in this case is something rather simple and rather clean. We're simply going to go to our 2D layers and pick an outline. Now this outline color, we're going to make a shadow out of that. Make it black and we're going to thicken it up a bit. Put in a little bit of blur. And there you go. That is going to have a good background to it. You could have also done a shadow as well, an outline, depending on the look that you want. Okay, so we definitely want a little different uh, character definition here. So for Rachel, we want to simply bold that up. And for Player and Bristol, we would actually want to bring the font point down a bit. So let's uh, bring it down to 10. That's looking pretty good. In fact, I could even put a carriage return in there and get uh, Bristol UK down there. And let's make sure that the justification is left. So let's go to View and turn on our safe margins because I want to find out where this is going to line up. In fact, I want to size this down just a little bit just to make sure that we have a nice lower third. So how do we get this thing to come in? So let's go to our library and go to the transitions, animations. So you do something like a fade in or we could do overlap zoom perhaps. Uh, but and something really nice right here might be a fly in. So falling letters or something like um, fast, fast right. There you go. One, two, three. Now, I don't want Rachel and player to come in separately. Let's drag and drop and apply this. And now we can get the parameters of that transition. So right now it's being applied to word by word. But what I can do is change that to line by line. Remember how I added a carriage return after player. So now we can have Rachel player come in and Bristol UK finally come in right after that. Now we want to style this up a little bit more. Let's go get an object to come in along with it. So let's go to the library. And there's a lot of shapes you can choose from. In fact, in the rectangles there, we have a number of uh, shapes that you could uh, apply. Grab this piece right here. But it's a little too punchy for me. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to make something of my own. So we're going to add a shape, simple rectangle, and this is going to hold any image that I want to put in there. So let's go to the style attribute, and instead of doing color or gradient, let's do a texture instead. So let's scroll down to something that uh, might be a nice look here. This flare too, this is probably going to look really nice. So let's bring this right on top of Rachel. Now it's on top of Rachel, I want to get that behind. So down in the timeline, you notice shape has its own paragraph, and as well as Rachel has her own paragraph. I'm going to drag and drop and reorient the tracks here. And I want that shape to begin right about where the transition ended. There we go. And a nice thing that I can do is a bit of a rotation on that flare to make it look uh, you know, a, a nice, pleasing animation. So let's go into Effect, Animations. Let's do a nice turn, perhaps, maybe a slow turn. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and drag and drop. And in fact, maybe at this point, I definitely want the turn to be about here. But in the final position, I don't want it to go so far. Maybe I want it more like this. 
So it's very easy to manipulate these animations. Let's do something really interesting. Let's tilt this up. There we go. That's really good. Uh, this this uh, little flare on the, uh, the back of Rachel there is working pretty good, but I need something else to make this pop. So let's add another element. Let's go into our shapes and bring in an ellipse and go to the style and start picking some colors that are complementary. So let's uh, grab some red uh, from the scene here and maybe do a gradient of red. So that means the bottom part of the gradient here, I'll darken this up a bit and move the points of the gradient. And finally, to make it pop a little bit more, let's go into the 3D outline and give it a, a white outline. So let's uh, get to our white here. And on thickness, simply thicken that up just a little bit. And now we can bring it behind our letters. Again, uh, the paragraph began where I had my uh, playhead. Let me, let me just go ahead and extend this all the way out drag it to the bottom and now we have Rachel Bristol in fact I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shrink this up there just a little there we go and at this point I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my safe margins because uh, I know where the text is now the interesting thing is is we have Rachel player and Bristol coming in and then we have that uh, burst there oh, we need to animate that burst in and we need to animate that circle so let's go back to the library and simply go under transitions and uh, for the uh, the glow let's just get a fade in on that there we go and I'll shorten that up so now it fades in slowly and now as far as the circle is concerned we might as well just go get the transition that we used on the text right click and copy transition and go ahead and paste that transition in and now when we play this we have the ball come in with that snap just like that. All right, so let's go see what this is going to look like in the Media Composer timeline. Go ahead and play this. So here we have the happy player. She's so happy. Uh, Rachel, uh, where she's from Bristol. That flare's coming in. We have a nice look that goes along with the scene.